Today's here, our you can see our the transmission lockup sensor has broken. So we are going to replace this one. So here you can see this one is our sensor. Okay, you can see is broken. So I'm going to remove it and then we fix it back. So by using the repair manual, I show you its location where it is located, and after it, I will remove it. So here so you can see this is our transmission. And this one is our the lockup pressure sensor. So its number is SA4226. Is measure the lockup pressure of the transmission. So viewers, you can see this is the description of our uh, pickup sensor. So this one is our transmission, and this one is our machine, and this is a lockup switch, and this switch is. Uh, inside the cabin in this area and this transmission is located here in the machine. So you can see I have removed this sensor is broken from back sides so I will remove this sensor from other machine I have a one uh, spare machine is here so I fix back it one okay and this one is a harness side portions this also I have <coughs> take out so now I will uh, go to other machine and remove the sensor from there and fix it uh, in this machine so this one is uh, our another loader which is also breakdown so I am going to remove the sensor so I show you from the other directions so you can see this is our so here this one is a sensor which I am going to remove from this uh, spare machine this machine is spare here so I will remove this sensor and fix back to that machine with, whose sensor is broken so this is our uh, hydraulic pressure sensor or lockup uh, transmission sensor so so as you can see i have removed this sensor from the machine which i have the spare and now fix it back to the machines mm -hmm. whose sensor is broken then i will clean it very good <laughs> and then after it i will fix to the machine so this is the lockup pressure sensor so lockup transmission sensor or lockup hydraulic pressure sensor we call it so this one is the pressure which i am going to change so as you can see now I fixing the uh, this uh, sensors back to the machines whose sensor was broken. So I removed this sensor from the other machines which I have the spare here. So I removed that from there and now I am going to fix it because this machine was very urgent. So therefore I removed I not waiting for the new sensor. So I removed it from the other machine which was the spare and now I am going to fix it here. I have fixed and tied the sensor back now I am going to fix this connector so this is a connector of that sensor here you can see number of that is a SA4226 number of this sensor so now I am going to fix back this connector so my work is finished so here as you can see I have fixed back the sensor and fixed the connectors hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel
and share this video to your friends and don't forget also give a like when you give a like my video will spread all over the viewers